beyond the time you guys expected although ilikuwa tu mkutano wetu ya chai tu kuita kwa hivyo tulikuwa tukae hadi wakati wote and ndio tuweze kutoka kwa hivyo muko tayari sasa eh leo hii viongozi wa kisi eh wa bunge seneta wetu tukiongozwa na seneta wetu wa Kisii County tumetembelea naibu gavana wa, kisi, wa jam, Jimbo la Kisii County and uh, ku ku tembele okay we just came here <laughs> let me let me just uh, try to mix nikikwama kidogo mtatusaidia si ndio so the purpose of uh, the meeting is uh, uh, to just pay a courtesy call to our to his excellency the deputy governor uh, and also to review uh, our county's uh, development program uh, both present or those that are active or ongoing and the future programs uh, by the county government kwa hivyo tumetembelea naibu governor because it was very easy to get him and then he's also explained to us what uh, the county has uh, been doing for the past 13 months although in a struggle because you know na torch and then uh, and the programs that they have for the next uh, in the next financial year na ametueleza you know ametuambia kwamba ni vizuri viongozi tushikane tufanye kazi pamoja both national and county government ndio tuweze kuleta kuletea watu wetu maendeleo he raised the issue with the, the new development ambayo mmejua sasa hivi where the control of budget alipeana a kind of a, a precondition for the further disbursement of the funds to the county government kasema kidogo itaweza umiza eh, ofanikazi development kwa sababu bila ku prove why the county government classified some pending bills as ineligible hawawezi pata pesa kutoka kwa national government na kwa hivyo he raised that uh, concern of course because the senator is here na sisi tukiwa hapo na viongozi MCAs ambao wako hapa and uh, kasema um, governor wa kisi ameelekea aliku, ameelekea Nairobi kujaribu ku ona kama tatatua hiyo lakini naona alikuwa amepewa tarehe kumi ya Disemba. na kwa hivyo those are the issues that we were discussing what things or the parameters that we may use to unravel the challenges that we're having as a county in terms of development and everything although together with us he also accepts that uh, our absorption rate as far as development funds is concerned is way too low and below par and uh, committed that he will continue engaging the governor as the head of the county kusukuma na kuangalia kama mahali wamekuwa makidogo wanaweza rekebisha so that development irudi ifanyike hapa kisi for 13 months hakuna kitu imetandeka ni zile kidogo tu na deputy governor amekubali lakini amesema wanaendelea ku engage one ile kidogo makosa mali pengine iko ama further engagement that is supposed to be done ifanyiwe ifanywe na viongozi wote waje pamoja ndio tuweze ku eh, toa hayo hizo challenges so that uh, development ionekane kisi kwa sababu eh, tulimuuliza eh, deputy governor wetu tumesikia governor pamoja na yeye wakituambia ya kwamba oh tunaongoja mvua iishe ndio tuweze kujenga barabara za kwa sababu ya elnino na pia tumeuliza naibu governor hapa hata madarasa pia zinaongoja mvua ipungue iishe ndio zijengwe na mvua imeanza tu mwezi moja tukauliza mbona ni barabara ngapi zimetangazwa na kandarasi zimepeanwa na tumesikia pia mnapanga pia hata supplementary budget ya eh, supplementary budget yet amja implement ile budget main yenye mlipitisha na hiyo yote ndiye alikuwa anatueleza na wameweza kutetea county government akasema wataendelea kuketi na kupanga mikakati ipasavyo. E, ya mwisho pia tumeengage ni maneno ya MCS. Wengi wametolewa kwa committees wakiuliza maswali tu ambayo sisi tumeuliza. E, wakiuliza maneno ya pesa ya maendeleo. 
wakiuliza maneno ya oversight wakiuliza maneno hiyo vile budget walikuwa wamewekewa kila wote 39 billion ikapunguzwa 27 billion i mean 27 million pole 39 million ikapunguzwa to 27 million na hiyo 27 pia hawajaiona haijaenda kwa ward ifanye kazi <coughs> eh, na hakuna kitu inaendelea so tukauliza tuka hao maswali niliweza sasa MCS wanauliza kama sisi mbona muli watoa kwa committees zote na kuwa punish wengine wapati allowance Naibu wa governor amesema pia ataendelea ku engage governor aone kama eh, governor ata ata atajaribu ku eh, ku engage also the assembly leadership waacha ku punish MCS kwa kuuliza maneno ya maendeleo. Hiyo ndiyo tu mkutano tulikuwa nayo hapa, hakukuwa na maneno nyingi na sisi wote tunaombea kaunti yetu tunatakia viongozi wetu wote mema na um, tunakaribisha pia wageni wote ambao watakuja hapa Jumanne. Hiyo pia I think mmoja wa kiongozi amezungumza kutoka ODM ameuliza mpango ya Jumaine wakasema kwamba bado wanalea kupanga wataketi mkutano wa siku ya Jumatatu pamoja ndio wakubaliane vile safari yao ya chama itakuwa kwenda mbele. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa tu hiyo na tumemaliza. Asante sana. <laughs>